Hi there, let's take a look at an AS Micro multiple choice uh, question looking at oil prices this time. So here's the question. Uh, global, we're given an extract here. Global oil prices fell from $100 per barrel in 2014 to $50 per barrel by the summer of 2015. One reason is that demand for oil in China fell as the Chinese economy started to slow down. Another reason is that more sources of oil were discovered using techniques such as fracking and the extraction of oil from oil sands. The Scottish Government had to downgrade its estimate of revenue from North Sea oil by, in 2015 by £40 billion. Now the question is, which of the following statements can be correctly inferred from the information above? So you've got to get a correct inference from that data. Not all of these following statements can be correctly inferred. Let's go through it line by line. So is oil an inferior good? Well, no, we can't correctly infer that. Uh, we can, well, we know that uh, the demand for oil in China fell as the economy started to slow down, which suggests that actually oil is a, a normal good, not an inferior good. I'll leave B for a moment. C is wrong. We can't infer that oil has an income elastic demand. We think oil is a normal good, but we're not given enough data on the change in the demand for oil after a change, for example, in income in China. We can't do the calculation for income elasticity, so we can't correctly infer that from the information provided. Can we say that oil has a price inelastic supply? Well, we're told that oil um, production, uh, well, we're not given any information on what's happened to oil production in the market, of course. We know that prices fell. We'd expect perhaps shale, oil and gas um, extraction to fall as well. But again, we're given no information on that. The correct answer is B, that the demand for oil is derived demand. And we can infer that, hence the answer is B, we can infer that because we're told that the demand for Chinese oil fell as the Chinese economy started to slow down. In other words, oil has a derived demand. Oil is used in manufacturing processes, it's used in transport, it's used in power and energy. As the Chinese economy slows down, so too does the demand for oil. This leads us to a bit of a vision. The idea of derived demand is a very important topic in AS economics. Derived demand is the demand for a factor of production used to produce another good or service. So our question was about oil, but equally we could think of products such as steel. The demand for steel very strongly linked to the market demand for new cars and uh, construction projects. Wood has a very strong derived demand. So the wood has many end uses. It can be used in construction, in furniture, in fencing. Uh, in packaging, for example, wooden pallets. The demand for labour is strongly derived from the demand for the output that labour is employed to produce. And in the labour market too, an increase in the demand for air travel and more flights. Uh, more traffic in the air will lead to an increase in the demand for airline pilots. Derived demand is a really important idea when discussing interrelated markets. And here was an example of a multiple choice question, which was talking about the derived demand for oil.